morning everyone lovely to have you with me this morning um, we're going to get started we're going to um, do the three great mantras to begin with and then yep we'll go from there Do the Ganesha Atavashisha. Namaste Ganapata Ye Twameva Pratyaksham Tatvamasi Twameva Kevalam Karatasi Twameva Kevalam Dharatasi Twameva Kevalam Haratasi Twameva Sarvam Kalvidam Brahmasi Tvam Saksha Dadmasi Nityam Ritam Vachmi Satyam Vachmi Avatvam Mam Avavaktaram Avashrotaram Avadataram Avadhataram Avanucha Namavashisham Avapaschatat Avapurastat Avutaratat Avadakshinatat, Avachurdhatat, Avadharatat, Servatomam, Pahi Pahi Samantat, Tvam Vangmayastvam, Chinmayaha, Tvam Anandamayastvam, Brahmamayaha, Tvam Sachidananda Dvitiyosi, Tvam Pratyaksham, Brahmasi, 
ज्ञानमयो विज्ञानमयोसि सर्वं जगदिदं त्वत्तो जायते सर्वं जगदिदं त्वत्तस्तिष्ठति सर्वं जगदिदं त्वैलयमेष्यति सर्वं जगदिदं त्वै प्रत्येति त्वं भूमिरापो नलो नीलो नभ त्वं चत्वारि वाक्पदानि त्वं गुणत्रयातीत त्वं देहत्रयातीत त्वं कालत्रयातीत त्वं मूलाधारस्थितोसि नित्यं त्वं शक्तित्रयात्मक त्वां योगिनो ध्यायन्ति नित्यं त्वं ब्रह्मा त्वं विष्णुस्त्वं रुद्रस्त्वं इन्द्रस्त्वं अग्निस्त्वं वायुस्त्वं सूर्यस्त्वं चन्द्रमास्त्वं ब्रह्मभूर्भुवस्वरोम् गणादिम् पूर्वमुच्चार्य वर्णादिम् तदनंतरम् अनुस्वार परतरह अर्धेन दुलसितम् तारेन रिद्धम् एतत्तव मनुस्वरूपम् गकार पूर्वरूपम् अकारो मध्यमरूपम् अनुस्वारश चांत्यरूपम् बिंदुरुत्तररूपम् नादसंधानम् सग्निता संधि सैशा गणेश विद्या गणक ऋषि निचरित गायत्री छंदह गणपतिर देवता ओम गं गणपतये नमः एकदंताय विद्महि वक्रतुंडाय धीमहि तन्नो दंती प्रचोदयात एकदंतम चतुर्हस्तम पाशमंकुशधारिनम रदंचवरदम हस्तायर विभ्रानम मूषकद्वजम रक्तम लंबोदरम शूरपकरणकम रक्तवाससम रक्तगंधानुलिप्तांगम रक्तपुष्पाय सुपुजितम भक्तानुकंपिनम देवम जगत कारणमच्छुतम आविर्भूतम च सृष्ट्यादाव प्रकृते पुरुषात्परम एवं ध्यायतियो नित्यम सयोगी योगिनाम वरह नमो व्रातपतये नमो गणपतये नम प्रमथपतये नमस्ते स्तुलंबोदराये कदंताय विघ्ननाशिने शिवसुताय श्री वरदमूर्तये नमो नमः साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः शक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः ओम 
Lam 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 We're going to uh, now watch a video of Sri Mataji and it's called The Power of Silence. But first and foremost thing is to meditate and to raise your kundalini. Meditation is the only way you grow, there's no other way out. Because when you meditate, you are in silence, you are in thoughtless awareness. Then the growth of awareness takes place, then it opens up. But if you are thinking, supposing there's a lake and the lake is completely in a turmoil, nothing can grow. But supposing it is silent, then lotuses can grow, anything can grow in it. In the same way, if your mind is agitated and your growth is uh, not yet fully uh, expressing itself, then it's such a vicious circle that you are agitated and your growth is hindered, again you are agitated, your growth is hindered. So the best way is to take to meditation. When you take to meditation, this turmoil will settle down. And when it will settle down, your growth will take place. After meditation you will feel definitely that you have come out very well, you have grown very well. But for that one has to be very honest. You cannot force people to be honest, that's one thing you can't do. You have to be honest to yourself, you have not to be hypocrite. You have to see for yourself that whatever you are doing is for your benevolence, is for your good, and that you have to do it because it is good for you to begin with, and then for the good of the humanity. You are doing for the good of the humanity. Now, some people who come for the first time will have lots of doubts because of ego. 
they have lots of doubts because of ego. How can that be? How can this be? How? I mean, all kinds of things they ask. Now you have to say that first of all you develop your insight, you develop your enlightenment. Your light is not sufficient. In the light only there are no doubts. Supposing in darkness uh, you think that uh, this table has no cover, it's all right, you can think whatever you like, but when there is light you see for yourself there is a beautiful cover on top of this table. In the same way it happens to us that we have to achieve a state and once we achieve that state then there's no question, there's no doubt, there's nothing and you become so empowered. It is such a simultaneous thing. It works as soon as you achieve something, it works. When it works, then you are convinced. It's a, I'd say it's a very beautiful new chain starts within yourself and then you really start enjoying your joy of yourself. In the most chaotic conditions this world is today, so at that time a kind of a silence will come within you. When there will be any such crisis, immediately you will become extremely silent. But this is again a state I am telling So now, if there is something that makes you upset or makes you unhappy, Try to reach that point, that axis, which is just silence. And this silence will make you really powerful, because this silence is not only yours. When you are in that silence, you are in the silence of the cosmos. Silence of the cosmos and the silence of the cosmos works for you. You are in connection with that cosmic power, we can call it, but it's more than that, it's divine power, I should say, divine power which is working all the cosmos also. So if you just become silent within yourself. Know that you are, are sitting in the kingdom of God. It's like this, when, say, you get the great honor of becoming a king, then you walk up to your throne and you sit down and look around and you feel the silence of the state that now you are the king. This silence is the sign that you are definitely Definitely you are now in contact with the Divine. You are silent because the Divine is going to look after everything. You don't have to do anything, just keep silent, but not forcibly, it's again a state. See, if any turmoil takes place, any problem takes place, suddenly your attention will jump onto that silence. And once you jump onto that silence, you being in contact with this whole all-pervading power. Now when I talk about all-pervading power, we still don't understand what it is, what it means, this all-pervading power of love. Is it some sort of an energy floating around or is it some sort of a uh, river or some sort of a ether?
it is the complete the totality of reality There are two leaders.
uh, thank you everyone uh, for joining this morning. Um, when you're ready, you can, um, uh, you know, Namaskar, tie up your Kundalini, do your Bandhan. But we'll just finish with the last of the three great mantras. And, um, Om Twami Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahastrata Swamani Mokshat Parani Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha May you have a beautiful mentally silent day as you go about your things and um, yeah thank you very much again for joining it's lovely having your vibrations with me this morning Jay Shumadaji I'll just play a little bit of music if people would like to hang for another five Let's just um, do a couple more minutes of being in that silence that Shumadaji talked about this morning and then we'll finish up.
thank you everyone for joining this morning and helping to create these beautiful vibrations that we've been enjoying. I um, hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day and um, we'll see you soon. Jay Shumadaji.